Welcome to Wire Guild. This is a, a skill set video, a very, very short video. Uh, and I'm just going to go through how to ball the ends of wire with a torch. It's become very popular. Now, first of all, I'm going to make some flux up. Um, I always use flux when balling, it helps keep the wire nice and clean. Now, in the UK, we use a borax cone. That's the thing that I'm rubbing around in circles and we mix it with a little bit of water and it produces a milky uh, like substance which we use as flux now I know this is not popular at all in America and in America you can buy your flux pre-made and you buy it in bottles and you just use it straight out of the bottle but this is what we do over here so I've mixed that and I've got like a milky stuff and then I've got my piece of wire just a short length of wire. I do multiples of these when I'm making balling, uh, all different lengths, and then I just pick which lengths I want. And I'm just painting with a paintbrush on the end of the wire. And then I'm going to do the same on the other end. I've already cleaned the wire. If you get too much grease on the wire from your fingers, the flux tends not to stick, and therefore you don't get uh, the protection from the, uh, the flame. Because you can get sort of fire stain on the wire. This will help protect it a little bit. So I've just popped that in a pair of um, pliers and that's holding that for me while I just get the torch fired up. Now, it's a little awkward as this. We try to get it into the camera shot. But first of all, I'm going to show you where to put the wire in the torch. Can you see the blue flame at the end? and I'm just beyond it. Now if I warm the whole stretch up can you see how it sort of went blop? Now I'll just tidy that up a bit and make it roll. You don't need to do that. You don't need to heat the whole end of the wire. Now if I hold the wire upside down into the heat but so the wire is pointing downwards not a lot happens. It's much easier and you see how nothing really is happening. If I turn this over so the wire is pointing up. When that heats, it just goes blip, and the molten silver runs down the wire, and you get a little ball end like that. Now let me just show you those two ends a little closer. So that's the larger end because I warmed down the length of the wire, which was unnecessary. And the other end is slightly smaller, and that's the one that we just did now. Let me do it all again for you. So I've got my flux painting it onto the length of the wire. My wire is in a pair of pliers so I don't touch because obviously this is hot. You don't want to burn yourself. I can prop that on there while I light my torch. There we go. And then with the wire pointing upwards and just below the blue point, can you see it's already gone? Just below the blue point of the flame you just whoop, move that, it's just moving slightly. In you go and just warm and there it's gone. It's that easy to ball wire and the difference it makes to your wire wrapping is quite amazing because you don't need to have a little curled loop on the end. You could use this. I hope to see some of the work that you've done. Thank you very much for watching. Happy wrapping!